Okay, here we're either working with tangent or cotangent just by the shape. We notice that we do cross our baseline. However, we're going down from left to right. I'm going to choose tangent here. Use tangent because we're crossing that baseline on our vertical axis, which means I won't have to do any kind of vertical or horizontal shifting, I'm sorry. Okay, tangent. Let's see, we're down at negative four. Two of these last 20 units, so our period is 20. It looks like we're crossing right about negative 3 and negative 5, giving us an amplitude of 1. Our vertical shift is negative 4. Okay. Notice though, because I have going from left to right, it goes up to down, this means we're going to work with a negative tangent. So we have negative tangent period is 20, that makes the angular speed 2 pi over 20, which equals pi over 10. We get tangent pi over 10 x minus 4. And that's our final answer. What about this one? We know, or should know, that right off the bat we're dealing with either cotan, not cotangent, cosecant or secant. What we want to determine is which one. Well, since we have a max point here, this means that we could draw a cosine in between. It's actually a reflected cosine in between, a negative cosine, which would make us dealing with negative cosecant. All right, so we're dealing with a negative cosecant here. The baseline is 10. The amplitude looks to be, let's see. Not quite up to 15, maybe 14, so amplitude is four. The period See, we're stretching from negative 4 to 12, making the period 16. So our angular speed is 2 pi over 16 or pi over 8. And there is no horizontal shift. So this gives us negative 4, that's our amplitude, cosecant. We use our angular speed, pi over 8x, then our baseline of plus 10. If you wanted to use sine, you could. Just note that the sine starting point is here, so we're shifting right by 4. That would make the sine equation, sine, 4 sine, pi over 8x minus 4, plus 10. Either one of these is absolutely correct. And there are actually other ones as well. Here are some suggested homework problems if you want some more practice. You have page 515 through 516, number 22 through 48. Pick and choose the ones that you seem to need practice on, and then check your solutions in the back. If you do the odd ones, the text will have those solutions.